Hey, I'm Jonathan Sewell Sales from Mitchell Mazda, and I'm not on the boulevard in Enterprise today. I'm actually standing with the Sewell bus, and I wanted to go over five quick tips for you to uh, get, get your vehicle ready for the shelter at home or quarantine, but more importantly, be ready to get back out there on the road when the time comes to leave. So before I get into that, go ahead and click the JSS down here at the bottom, the JSS down here at the bottom, and subscribe to my channel and ding that bell so that you'll be updated first with everything new for preparing your current vehicle, for looking at new vehicles, or comparing others in the market. Whatever information's out there, I want you to see it first. Um, let's jump into these five tips. All right, the first thing to be mindful of, and there may be some questions about, is the fuel. Now, of course, most of these vehicles, as you can see on this one, is not rated for E20 to E85, probably has E10 in it, or up to 10%. Um, but a couple of things, uh, in this time, we're probably not going to be in a situation where you have to worry about uh, much fuel degradation or issues with uh, the fuel becoming bad. But if you'll do this step, which is keep your tank full, so as the fuel through the fuel pump goes into feed the engine for combustion, it creates air or space in that tank. And that tank, that air has oxygen in it and oxygen oxidizes the fuel or breaks it down. So if you will fill up your car before you're going to be parking or whenever you take it out, full, fill it up, come back, be prepared. That way there's less air and less oxidation so your fuel will last longer. The next tip is your tire pressure. Now, um, obviously we're parked here on our driveway, so it's pretty level, pretty smooth. If you have a, a rough terrain, like a, a rock drive or a grass yard or something like that, where there may be some roots and other things, you wanna make sure that you park as level as possible because if this vehicle is gonna be sitting for some time, it could be that that uneven surface or different uh, positions might create some um, bumps or some uneven wear in the tires that when you get back out on the road, you may notice that it's uh, a little rough ride or um, you know, it feels like the tire may be out of round. Uh, so you wanna make sure and park in a level area. Uh, one of the things I always try to do is, um, as, lovely Nicole has done here is make sure that you park the tires straight so there's not uh, uneven turning or uh, wear on the outside or inside of your tires depending on how you have those positioned um, so make sure hey kitty make okay. sure that uh, you have uh, that position as well and it's important now most vehicles now do have a TPMS sensor a tire pressure monitoring sensor um, our TPMS tire pressure monitoring system. So just make sure that you keep your uh, tire pressures up and uh, to the uh, appropriate um, tire pressure. Now how you find that is right inside here on the door jam. So as you look right here on this label, it uh, has broke down for the tire size, also what's recommended for the front and the rear and the spare. So everything's right here inside the door jam. So check that and uh, just keep, make sure that all four tires are at the appropriate um, tire pressure as long as you're here. And again, park on a nice level area as best as possible. All right, we're gonna hop in for this tip. And if you'll notice uh, we'll, how most of your vehicles now light up or have some accessory anti-deterrent uh, theft deterrent running. Also, you have uh, running lights up here. So every time you get in your vehicle, it's it's using a little bit of a draw and we'll come uh, on the power on the battery. And we'll come back to that in just a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up. Oh, need a little fuel. Not, not prepared for quarantine. <laughs> All right, so a couple things to notice here. Most vehicles have a warning system. Let's see if we can get in here where you can see that. Most vehicles have a warning system, such as this one. I have low washer fluid, but also it shows there's a little bit more low fuel, as we've seen, and maintenance required. So a couple of things. Uh, the next tip here is to make sure 
that your vehicle is not in the situation of the school bus. So it looks like I'll be taking it to work to uh, get this taken care of. But you wanna make sure, of course, as we've said, that you have a full tank. Uh, also, you don't wanna be in a situation where you have this maintenance required light. You wanna make sure that um, you get it serviced. Now, most dealerships, depending on what state you live in, are prepared and open for uh, servicing. They'll pick it up and bring it back to you or whatever the case may be. So just make sure and check that out and make sure that you have your vehicle serviced. And I promise you and promise uh, the family here that this will be handled as soon as possible. All right, the next thing to look at is your battery. So just as I said, every time you open the door in most vehicles, there's gonna be some type of uh, drain or pull on your battery. Now how this works, of course, is this battery has enough cold cranking amps to crank the car, and then the alternator as it's running will recharge it. So if it sits for a long time, um, this vehicle does have a Toyota smart key system. So it's always set and ready when locked to walk up and touch the, uh, well, we're just having visitors all over the place. Come here, girl. It's always set and ready for you to walk up and touch the handle and unlock. So there's a little bit of a draw. Now you can get all types of gauges and different things to check that. Uh, but that's not as big of a deal. You don't have to have any more uh, excess uh, expenditures. But um, what you can do, and you see this has some protectant on it to prevent um, corrosion. And you'll want to check this. Oh, see here on this, in this positive terminal, we're starting to get a little corrosion here. So again, this vehicle's due for service. They'll check this and clean this right up. But uh, what happens sometimes is that corrosion on the inside there of the uh, terminal and the battery post it will create distance between those and the electronic charge will not go through that. And then when you're ready to go, you go and you hear a click, 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 no battery or no, no power to start the car. So you wanna make sure and eyeball that. If it's in need of servicing, you can um, do a couple of things like pour a little Coca-Cola on it uh, or whatever soda you have that's acidic, it will eat some of that off. But also you just wanna make sure that these are tight and that uh, these are, are ready to go. And uh, again, if you need some servicing, uh, they will take care of that for you as well and make sure that it's clean. So check your battery. You don't wanna be in a situation when you can go somewhere, but you can't because your car won't start. All right, the last tip is to walk around the vehicle and look at the paint. It's okay to be a little bit dirty. Of course, when I get this vehicle serviced this week, they'll go ahead and wash it up and make sure everything's good. But what I'm looking for, and I guess this is about the only spot I'm gonna see is this bird poop. Now on painted surfaces, if this sits for a long time, which this is a painted grill as well, uh, this is acidic and can eat through your paint. So if you're gonna be another couple of weeks on a quarantine or shelter at home, and uh, you have some of this activity here. Of course, I've got a clear uh, film protectant right here on the hood. But if you have this, and uh, I'll show you a trouble spot in just a minute, but you wanna make sure and get that cleaned up. They do have a lot of over-the-counter products or just good old soap and water and a rag to get that right off. Um, some of the over-the-counter over -counter products like Rain-X makes some good ones, just spray it on there, let it soak in for a minute, then wipe it right off. So um, just check this vehicle out and make sure that it doesn't have uh, extra paint damage from you sitting around or not going anywhere. Now, a troubled area typically is right over here because a lot of birds like to look at themselves in this mirror. And when they're looking at themselves in the mirror, they get all excited and they just poop all over your door handle and everywhere else. But uh, it's more common for us to check this driver's side. You wanna check both sides. And then some of these uh, mirrors fold in and out. So you can check that, fold them in, or if you have a, a vehicle with power folding mirrors, even if you don't typically use them, that may be something that you'd be uh, interested or better off to use during this time. So uh, it's important to walk around and look for that acidic bird poop. Thank you for joining me for the quick five tips to help you be prepared during the quarantine and be ready to get back out there on the road. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, comment below or you can call or text me at 334-718-0504. I'm Jonathan Sewell Sells from Mitchell Mazda. And again, I'm, I'm not on the boulevard, 
but uh, I hope that this video finds you safe, healthy, and um, don't forget to take care of the old chariot. And our Soul Bus will uh, definitely be, I kind of told on myself a little bit, but our Soul Bus will be taken care of this week. So uh, we're going to be good to go. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Be safe out there.